Hello, I'm Matt Landis and founder of Landis Technologies. And today we'd like to look at the subject of what is an attendant console for Microsoft Teams. What is an attendant console for Microsoft Teams? Well, first of all, we're going to take a look at the at the part of attendant console. A couple components. It is a Teams client that's optimized for handling multiple voice calls efficiently and quickly, especially transferring calls. An attendant console also makes common everyday tasks for voice handling very efficient. Another very key component of an attendant console is easily being able to search contacts and easy access to large amounts of contacts that you can just glance over with a quick look. And also be able to quickly get an overview of each contact status. This might be presence, it might be their note, it might be their schedule or other contextual information about contacts. Should also be able to easily see caller context. So when a caller calls in, easily be able to see who they are and why they might be calling. And provides the ability, an attendant console should provide the ability to tailor the receptionist experience to be customized to fit their needs. Different receptionists have different needs and the an attendant console really needs to be able to accommodate that. For example, some receptionists, receptionists might transfer to mobile on a regular basis, whereas another company or organization, this might not be the case at all, but a great ability to tailor the experience. And then moving also on to Microsoft Teams, so an attendant console for Microsoft Teams, what does that add? Well, it should easily enhance the Teams calling calling experience right in place. So this is not something that needs to be integrated or anything like that. You really should be able to sign in and enhance the Teams calling experience. And a, a tenant console for Microsoft Teams should leverage the unique Microsoft Teams strengths. So things like presence, chats, bots, and other Microsoft 365 components should be a natural and automatic extension of a tenant console without doing a lot of work. And finally, it should be a natural fit into the Microsoft Teams endpoint lineup. What do I mean? So things like the Teams client, Teams certified phones and room systems. When you see an attendant console for Microsoft Teams, it should feel like naturally fitting into that lineup. Next thing we'll do is look at how the Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams fills these characteristics needed in an Attendant Console. So the first thing we'll take a look at here is efficiently handling the transfer of calls with the least amount of keystrokes or clicks. So we have a call coming in. We're going to answer that put it on mute so that it doesn't cause any problem. And you'll notice that it's configured to already be in transfer mode. And all we need to do, one click to transfer that call to this queue. Down here, you notice it's transferring and now it's transferred. So really efficient handling of transferring of calls. Another thing, if you would answer a second call, it just automatically puts the first call on hold. Very easy to handle multiple calls. Another thing that we talked about is the idea of being able to handle common everyday activities very efficiently. And the Landis Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams has a feature called Quick Access Shortcuts, which allows you to make macros to do common tasks. So for example, if you want to go into Do Not Disturb, you can make a quick access shortcut that makes that one click touch or shortcut key that can be assigned. And that can even be a global OS wide keyboard shortcut. So it really makes common tasks like changing your presence, calling or transferring to a contact or queue, or even doing something like closing or opening a gate 
using Power Automate Flow. You should also be able to, as we noted before, with attending, an attendant console, be able to easily search contacts. So if we would like to search for our Zimmerman, just do that. And you'll notice we have just a bunch of contacts here. Let's try, we want to try to look for Martin. And we can see, yep, there we have Wendell. We can click on him and we can immediately see his presence is available. We can also see his calendar, see what's happening next. We can see managers and direct reports and transfer calls to them if we wish to do that. So we can easily search contacts and not only Teams or Active Directory contacts, we can also search Exchange and other contacts. So you can easily search and uh, easily see a large amount of contacts at one time. Glance over and see their presence, see if they're in a call and uh, see their status. And one of the things that we do have is the ability to show when a person is in a call versus being just busy or in a meeting. We have a special presence indicator, so at a glance you can see that. And as we noted, you can um, see the, the um, contacts status. Thinking a little bit about the ability to tailor the receptionist experience to fit their needs. With the Landis Attendant Console, you can totally configure the UI uh, panel layout. You can resize them. You can even change the um, what panels are actually on, on the screen, how many you show at the same time, so you can change that, you can configure that. You can also put more than one panel in one, in more than one area. So then you just have tabs to see the additional. So very configurable as to what shows. So if you had a very wide monitor, you might want four or five panels, uh, vertical panels. You can accommodate large monitors and uh, all, kind, all types of monitors there. Another thing that we noticed that receptionists and attendants often want to do, and that is decide what buttons are on each contact. So in our case, we have of chat, but maybe we would want to add, uh, add another, like the work. We can do that by just adding work. And now the work phone number will also be on here along with their teams and chat. A very common one is that people want mobile number on there. So why don't we just add that one while we're at it. And now you can, with one click, transfer to their mobile phone number. Of course, you always have access to all their contact methods by clicking on the More menu. So you can configure the screen, you can configure the contacts. Very configurable experience, a lot of settings to decide. Uh, another thing that's not uncommon is not everybody, all receptionists, use all the transfer types. And you can determine which ones you want to see and which ones you don't want to clutter the screen to make it real uh, efficient. Another thing, configure the hot keys or the shortcut keys that are used to answer and do common tasks. And also, as we said before, you can make, even make those global. And this last one is quick access shortcuts. We really think of them as macros that let you do common receptionist kinds of activities. The ability to call or transfer to a user or queue, the ability to change presence and even change it for a certain amount of minutes or reset the presence. And then also the ability to do uh, Power Automate call uh, flows so that you can just do anything you can do in Power Automate. So it really lets you config configure the experience. And for Microsoft Teams, one of the things you will notice is we look, we, we really are evocative of Microsoft Teams. We use the same icons, the same presence. You really could almost think you're using Microsoft Teams, but it's a, a client that is 
optimized for handling multiple calls and being able to transfer calls. And we also leverage Microsoft's unique, uh, Microsoft Teams' unique strengths. So presence, all the presences are in here. We both set it and demonstrate or show it to you. Um, we also uh, have another feature that I'll demonstrate real quickly here. And that is the ability to send a chat call reminder when someone calls. So I'll just make a call here and I'll mute that. And then what I can say is I would like Preston to call this person back. And I just click send and it send a Teams chat right from the application. Teams isn't even required to be on this, but you can remind them via chat to call this person back. We also have a feature called um, Consult IM Transfer, which uses a bot to interact automatically with the user and automatically transfer calls to users in the way that they want. Um, we also have the ability to use contact lists. You can search contact lists from Microsoft Teams lists, Exchange, SharePoint lists, and even Excel Online. So it really uh, leverages the unique strengths of Microsoft Teams. And then finally, it naturally fits into the Microsoft Teams endpoint lineup. Uh, the client, people, if they're using Teams, they know how to use this because it looks and feels just like Microsoft Teams. So it fits in the Microsoft Teams client, Teams certified phones and room systems lineup. So that is a quick overview of what is an attendant console for Microsoft Teams. Thank you. Here's how to set up Landis Attendant Console for the very first time. First, go to ac.landis.cloud. Once you are there, click the Admin Consent button on the bottom right. Have a Microsoft 365 Global Administrator sign in with a username and password. Now accept the permissions at the bottom of the page. These permissions will allow all users to operate Landis Attendant Console in your Microsoft 365 environment. Once the permissions are accepted, simply click the Sign In button on the home page. Use your Microsoft 365 username and password to authenticate. After this, you'll be prompted to sign up for a trial. Your name and email are pre-populated. Now, just enter your business name and your phone number. Choose whether you are a customer or a partner and click sign up. This will grant your organization a 30-day full-featured trial. Now that you are signed in, allow the microphone, and you're done. Now you are ready to take your first call.